Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp in a Box. Today we're going to make a popsicle stick catapult, one of our favorite crafts from summer camp. For this activity, you're going to receive a whole bunch of popsicle sticks and rubber bands, and you'll also receive a spoon. And you're gonna to need to have things like markers or colored pencils on hand. To get started, set aside two of the popsicle sticks and then stack the rest of them. This stack will become the base for your catapult. Secure your stack with rubber bands on both sides. Remember to twist these rubber bands pretty tightly because you don't want this stack to separate at all while your catapult is working. Now take your remaining two sticks and secure them at only one end. This will become the active part of our catapult. Now it's time that we add our spoon. This is going to be what holds the ammunition for your catapult. In our case, we're just going to use candy. Pry the two sticks apart and then use rubber bands to secure the spoon onto the sticks. Start with the top of the spoon and then loop your rubber band through the itself around one of the top sticks and pull tight. Then you continue to twist and secure the bottom of the spoon. Now we can start assembling our catapult. So you'll take your original stack and find the bottom two sticks in your base. Gently separate these from each other with a pencil or a pen, and then slide the bottom part of your two stick stack through the bottom of your base to help keep it steady. Go ahead and get familiar with how your catapult moves and do some adjusting if needed. Of course, you could stop there and have a perfectly functioning catapult, or you could take the time to do a little bit of decorating like I did. There's no need to decorate every single popsicle stick, however. I only decorated the top popsicle stick in my stack, as well as the popsicle stick that holds the spoon. Once you're done decorating, you can reassemble your catapult. At this point, you can add rubber bands to either side of the spoon piece to help keep it in place while the catapult is in motion. Now it's finally time to put our catapult to use. I tested out my catapult with some gob stoppers, but you can also use things like marshmallows, Skittles, or even M&Ms. The angle of the spoon determines the direction of the candy. So feel free to play around with this to get the right angle that you're looking for. And your catapult is all done. Thanks so much for crafting with me today, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.